Viper is Panini is lining up the poison orb for mid. That's gonna block off all vision of mid. She's now just holding the B push. And you can see at B for Cloud9, they put both the Viper and Killjoy there. But, oh my god! Jazzykins opens up the, the match in a 5 on 4 for Cloud9 White, Dan. Love the confidence. Sheriff purchase as well. And that's the spike shown as well. So everything is known at this point. It comes down to the gunfights as Laurie tries to press forward for the team, playing more ground. And they're actually getting backside control. Good stuff so far here from Shopify Rebellion. And he's in a quite a desperate predicament, unable to make it away from that corner, leaving just Katsumi and Mel here to try to do the damage. And there is damage to be done. Laurie and KP quite low on health, but are able to fall back on that post plant. Mel now coming in on the flank. Not sure if they have a sense of Mel's position. Katsumi, if she can run distraction here, just create some noise, pull the crosshairs towards her direction. Perhaps Mel can have some impact on this flank. I love this post plant setup though here coming through from Shopify Rebellion. Set up quite nicely. Mel will find the first player. Oh, great shot from Panini. Left it up to Katsumi now. 10 HP and it's not going to work out. So Shopify Rebellion able to make good of a bad start with that horrible, horrifying one tap coming in from Jazzy at the start. Woo. Great mid-round adjustment by Shopify right there. I was scared. When Mel was on the flank, Dan, you called it. I didn't know if they would be aware of it, but the setup they chose, they pushed into screens, they pushed back sight, they played for the flank. They were very aware of that possibility. Such a good little crossfire they created on the fly right there. Sealing yes. out the round, and that's the perfect start. Yeah, that looks that setup looks like so coordinated. I'm really impressed. And they're gonna hit this A site once again. We've got a three-player push coming in on long B right now from Cloud9 White, so don't have the players in position. Going to have to be on that flank with a lot of their firepower. And the site will be given to Shopify. So they should be able to get the same kind of post plant that they want. Uh, or, or that they're after. And he's going to spot a lot of action here. Great initial connection. And I think two other players heard as well. So they have pieced together all the information they need to know how to position against this will be very difficult for C9 Whites. Han now. That's a big find by Han. I think that'll pretty much secure the round, Dan. Mel falls. Yep. That's a big... That's another big eco round right there for Shopify. So they're bolstering their economy. It's the start that you want to see. And it, it looks like the A site is going to be under siege right now. Because again, they are sending the entire team over to A right off the rip. And we saw there, they have the Poison Orb one way that lands on that back rafter of the A site. Makes it very difficult to peek both rafter and lower site. And they're going to throw it again. I love it. And this is like some of the conditioning that now can be created by Sopify Rebellion as they start to just repeatedly create an expectation on the pacing. An expectation on the early action in the round, which is all towards this A site. You can see there's three players outside of the site for C9 White. They're giving up the site. They're opting for that retake approach. Oh, Katsumi. Oh, there. It does get the catch on Delori. It was labored. That's a good pick to get. Again, they're going to just try to bide their time here. The spike still needs to go down, but that might also be the op opportunity when it starts to be planted for a push to come through. And in fact, Mel will go forward and they're going to drop onto the site. That's Panini gone. It is a struggle. What a great retake effort before the spike's even planted. Picking the right timing, C9, and now Flowerfall in a one versus three. I got the spike. get the spike, but the bonus round has been easily dealt with by C9 Whites. Oh, Mel recognized so quickly that that was an A attack, and you can see how how prepared Cloud9 White is for all the different looks. Right? They have the turret set up for information. They have the Viper wall ready for peaks, and Lori just got caught. She was up there all alone. And at that point, they just, they lost all their firepower on that hit, and it just fell apart. Cloud9 White with an amazing retake. And now we're finally going to get to see a different look out of Shopify. This is, this looks like a default, Dan. Yeah, it definitely does. And it's a good sign for C9 White to be able to just handily be like, okay, we have the adjustment on these A scales. Boom. And it works out. But interestingly, we'll have that mid-round sort of rotation begin to come in from the defense to see are wondering about that mid timing it's a slower pacing into this oh. a site 
And it's a free site, so it's up to the retake again for C9 White. Again, Mel finds this opening frag, Dan. Playing retake, she's finding these frags. Lori gone again. Five on four for Cloud9 White, but still a very difficult retake. You see Cloud9 White setting up the coordinated push in. They all want to go in together from these different angles. Well, the swing won't be met all too well there for C9, well, for Mel at least. C9 White gaining some ground here towards the side. The Viper utility really causing problems. Still though, C9 White with a player advantage. There comes the pressure off of the tap. Oh, it's looking good initially for Shopify, but they're starting to run other players. Just Panini left, no use hill to throw onto that spike. Oh, great pick onto, oh Whoa. no, Panini's doing it. Can she find the last remaining? He doesn't know where the last player is, oh. but Panini will find it just in the nick of time. Catches it with a headshot. That was, that honestly, Sean, that looked desperate, but Panini made it look kind of smooth. That's our player to watch, Dan. That's our player to watch. We called it. Let's go. Panini, she is so good in these late rounds, these clutches. We saw it in the previous series against Dig, and here it is again. She just looks so calm in these situations. Oh, that was could, so close. Oh, so, so close. She could just visually see the spike getting diffused, knows that... It, you know, I, she doesn't know what side Jazzy's on. What a huge round, Sean. Both. It's just Massive. own their economy. They just won their first round. They gun round. Now they're back onto the save. This is the start we needed to see from Shopify. Get out of my way. Ooh. Ooh. And I don't know if they expected the B hit to come in, but here it is. Laurie pulls out. The oh, oh, Alexis. That is some cheeky stuff there. I mean, we'll see if it's going to help them build more off of it because it is a, well, a four versus three after the res. Shopify looking solid right now here on Icebox. Oh man, Dan. This is this is a very important hold for Shopify. I know it's just it seems like just one of these rounds where Cloud9 doesn't have much invested, but it's very important they win this round here. I'm gonna try to do what they can. The Marshall is a great gun. That Viper Wall is actually quite annoying here for Mel. She's just going to be out in the middle of three players when that one drops. Katsumi's hanging out to try to get some extra headshots, but with the res coming into play from on, it's actually going to be four players surviving this situation. And they have a lot. There's a big lead on the alt economy, I believe, here from Shopify as well, which we'll take a look at in a second. But this is, this is a great start, really, it is. Yeah, yeah, Dan, and the reason why this round is so important in my mind as an in-game leader is they have shown in the early parts of this game they want to hit the A site. They just went B on an eco round. They're trying to get in cloud Nine's White's head that they will go B, but they won't go B on gun rounds. They won't go B on the important rounds, it looks like. They like going to this A site, and now they're going to go through mid. Oh, great pick. Yeah, big, very, very fast mid push. I don't think that was expected at all. Benini dropping the Viper's pit. And in fact, there are counter ults here for C9 White. They actually have a lot of ults themselves, but I think Shopify, they want to create the argument to deal with these. However, we get the Hunter's Fury coming in from KP before Mel has dropped her lockdown. So now Mel can drop the lockdown, not having to worry about a Hunter's Fury to actually eliminate it. Oh, Katsumi, this Whoa. is just such an OP oh. Viper's Pit. What a spot. The spike and her feet as well. Old Falfel finds the frag, but against two players now, has to recover that spike. Not a rush to do it. There is time to work with. She wants She's to find the space tiny. here. Two players backside. Falfel will. I mean, you have to take a guess. You've got to take the gamble. Doesn't work out for Falfel, but it does work out for C9. Yeah, very important round there for C9 White. Great retake for mid. But I think, like you said, Katsumi's ult on that A site is what locked down that round. She did such a good job living. She even had to dodge a Hunter's Fury in there. Still walks away from the round with two. Great round by her. And Cloud9 White, this is this is where they look to make their run, Dan. Yeah, for sure. They, they have to stabilize. Totally agree on that one. And... From what we have to work with for either side, C9 White took an alt lead in that last round. They didn't have to drop the lockdown, and the Hunter's Fury didn't come in from Annie either. So I would expect Clefarful to make a play with the lockdown here, probably on that A site. Oh, that's a great find, though. Jazzy goes down early on. And yeah, we're going to get the lockdown, I believe, coming in here to take this A site or to really secure it after the, the spike goes down. 
Annie should break the lockdown from Flowerful the second it happens with her Hunter's Fury. But it looks like Flowerful is just going to sit on it. Yeah, this I think is very smart. They want to try to use it after the spikes planted him. And Laurie's just holding the high position around the pipes. You should run. There goes the lockdown and the counter lockdown. There's the Hunter's Fury to break it from Annie. Now it's going to give the edge here to the defenders wow. in CLNY. Even gets the pick onto Han. So things looking definitely more difficult now for Shopify as they have to retake the site. Here That's comes some lineups. Flank, All right. Indeed, that flank from Panini. Panini. Player to watch. Flowerful defense as well. This forward push coming in from C9 White. And it's going to work out beautifully well because Panini is there on the flank at the same time. Shopify, Sean, they're winning the battles. They're making good calls. And they are 5-2 to two ahead of Cloud9 White because of it. Yeah, they are very prepared on how to deal with this A site. They knew the second that Jazzy died in that tube. They immediately repositioned for the A hit. They recognized they didn't need to even use the lockdown. They probably are aware of Cloud9 White's tendencies to leave the site in four and five scenarios. I'm I'm scared for Cloud9 White right now. Shopify Rebellion looks so prepared. They look so prepared right now in this attack half. Yeah, it's you know what it's there is a conversation to be had as with in this time I have a moment to, to highlight it. There's a conversation to be had if Shopify's performance, if, if their level is ready to beat Cloud9 White, but is the mental area, is that going to be kind of ready? Because you can get in your head. If you're against an opponent like C9 White, no one has beaten them before. They are the raid boss. If you beat them, it's going to just send shockwaves through the community. It's going to be such an important moment. But you have to not really think about those things. It's not really about those things, but that can easily get into your head. If we, if we see Shopify continue to dominate, We'll have to keep a, keep a check on that. Cloud9 White, though, similarly for them, you know, where's their confidence going to be at if this continues against Shopify, who are showing such a strong level at the moment? And as we go back into this one, Sean, it's going to be another eco round for Shopify to deal with. And it looks like they're going to go back to the A here. Yeah, and Jazzy's going to Blade Storm here. So this, this isn't as easy as it would seem. That's oh. the first pick. Scary. Jazzy can find another one here. It will start to get very bad. C9 White looking like Jazzy's still in a spot to kind of get some of these just shots off. And you can see we'll actually have Shopify back away. They don't want to spend the util to kind of throw Jazzy off. So they're just going to rotate away. Jazzy's the only truly dangerous player at the moment. There is a Sheriff on Katsumi and Alexis. And I don't like this. I don't like this B hit. Look at, look at all the Killjoy util. Viper's there as well. KP needs to live. Oh no, KP dies. That's a gun gone as well. Shopify are in a very bad spot now. Cloud9 White are encircling around them. They've got to fight their way out of this one. Mel with a nice right click. A second comes through as well. Massive damage done. It's all on Han and Panini now. They don't have any ults to save them here. It might even be a question of just getting damage in at least here. Don't allow weapons to get into the hands of your opponents. Aren't able to get the spike planted. Three players coming in from Orange from Kitchen. And they've at least like siloed their opponents into one spot, but it's up to Han. They're one versus four. Oh, and Annie's has got that phantom in hand. And she's going to nail it. Han dead. And C9 White with a an unexpected victory in this round. And you know, what do you think was happening for Shopify there, Sean? When Jazzy popped that blaze on, got that pick. You know, it was, was it just a missed call or where did it go wrong? Yeah, it's just, it's one of those rounds where the jet can get that peak and pick someone off, dash away. Jazzy plays the jet role so well. You can see how quick she was to just disengage from that with, with the dash. And there's just no trading that. There's, it's It wasn't possible. So what Shopify would need to do on a round like that is likely drone out all those close angles. Use a more innovative recon error to clear out the pushes because wow jazzy's very good at just you know, picking one off and of being able to get away clean yeah maybe recon? there's yeah. too much respect from shopify so. oh we've got laurie trying to oh i was about to say trying to do the same but it's actually hard to pick, gets the kill laurie still has some blaze left here one actually <laughs> so <laughs> let's see if that one's going to connect 
looking for the refresh on this blade storm. Ooh, dashing around trying to find it. You can see right now again. the site's been given. Ooh, she was fishing for a frag with that one blade. <laughs> Spear fishing. CC9. They've been really coordinated on these retakes. Yeah, but they have no ults this time, Dan. They're in a four on five. How do they retake the site? Now going forward, great opening defensive kills coming through from a Shopify so far. C9 White, though, it's hard to deny them. They'll get, gain some ground here. The Poison Orb plus the barrier is going to cause some problems. Killjoy Utility is helping out enormously here from Flowerfall. And Sumi making her way forward, but it's going to be up to Alexis now that Snake Bite plus the Poison Orb combo is so annoying. And Panini will finish it off again. Such a great performance here. These A rounds are working out quite reliably. All right, well, back to the B shenanigans here for Shopify Rebellion. Going with a very fast pace once again. And you can see that's working out in terms of the fact that C9 White are not really able to post up to stop the push from coming in. They can slow it down. Oh, I like the aggressive ice wall there that has to be broken to actually get the spike planted. That's quite innovative. Spike wall goes up. Res comes through. Very tricky to get the spike planted here. Four versus five for Shopify. As they try to win some of these battles, Alexis goes down. And that might give some opportunity here. There's no vision blockers. The Vipers will have to come back up again, I think, for them to go for this plant. Look at the double flank from Cloud9 White, Dan. They're pinned in. Shopify Rebellion, how do they bust out of this? They would have to push through the site and take out Annie. And yeah, they've got to make a call. And I think Flaffer walked backwards into Mel there. So, oh, here goes Laurie. Oh, there it is. Two. And that's exactly what you were talking about, Sean. And they have the option to even go if they would have wanted. But maybe not sure where both of these two players are. Do they realize that there are two on the flank? Arn is surely going to find out shortly here. There's some sound cues from one. Running distraction is Mel. That is a distraction play. Laurie goes down. The crosshair placement. Not ready for Katsumi's position. Han with the wrap. And can she find the second? Oh, oh, it's so good from Han. Oh, I mean, there's just so much to say about that. But it's, again, an eco coming through for C9 White. They've got this single phantom on Katsumi, some sheriffs. But here comes Shopify. Once again, we talked about them playing in comfort, finding the strategies and focusing on their game. And they've been hitting this match so far with very fast pacing and they look confident. Sorry with the blades there, creating that pressure. Viper's pit comes through as well. Very hard to deal with, but actually Katsumi able to find a couple kills here, causing problems again. Player advantage comes through. The C9 whites. This is and, sketchy. Yeah. Did the Viper's pit backfire a little bit? But we'll see now in the post one if it will help them. C9 White find Panini though in this pit, Dan. How do they? They're sticking together in a pack of three and they're going to go through the back. Power four finds a good timing. The trade is there, but the info is also there for Panini to play off of. This is huge. Can Panini isolate these fights in 1v1? Makes the play through, but Jazzy with the dash and the cloud burst. That's the play. What a such good decision, make, decision making there from Jazzykins, and that's going to be the round. Or C9 White, a very needed round. But look, and they're going fast again. They've left Panini in garage actually to perhaps catch any any players. So that suggests to me they're going to slow things down here. But there's that Hunter Tree coming through to try to respond to the pick from Jazzykins. And again, they're leaving Panini very far towards that B position. So are they going to commit into this A site? Powerful with that pick, maybe that's going to convince them to do so. Or is it just going to further sell it? She's got the lockdown, Dan. She's got the lockdown, too. You mentioned it before the round started. They have so many things to work with. Mel, Flowerful, both with lockdowns. I think Mel was planning a counter lockdown at this A site. You can see she pinged right by screens. But if this is B and the lockdown goes down at B, that changes everything. And it, it tells them a lot too that there was no push through garage as a response. This was 
this was to kind of say okay we're going to push this we've we have never shown us actually backing out of the a hit once we've scaled up on it like that and now they are going to be able to take full advantage of this pretty much empty b side we've got some delay util coming in from alexis but they won't be able to stop these <gasps> oh almost Whoa. a gap there for alexis I, th I don't think she had any idea the spike goes down a flank as well the timing of this sean it's been set up so nicely here Turret will catch it, but again, there's just the presence here from KP. It's going to be very difficult to deal with, and the double lockdown's in play. Katsumi goes beyond the oh. wall, and she finds two. Two HP. <laughs> he is uh, stuck without anything to do there. KP comes through on that flank, and it's looking great now. Just down to Alexis, coming through from the bridge. And they know precisely where Alexis is now. It's going to be next to impossible and Spanafa will take her down eight to four at the end of the first half absolutely stunning result from Sh what this is gonna be so fast there's the wall as he comes with the cloud burst of cover as well gaining ground very quickly nice shock dart comes through actually this is gonna be difficult to win the fight though there is overwhelming numbers here from c9 white and this is interesting right now a lot of control around this kitchen position two players though for shopify rebellion Spike around play. yellow so this is a very interesting pistol so far are we on a journey discovery no somebody is close surely annie will yeah play the bait position uh-oh now it's just laurie left in a blink of an eye and the shots aren't connecting here for shopify and c9 white with the very much needed I know how good they are and for Shopify, it'd be interesting to see how much damage they can get. You can see that there's a very slow pace. Cloud9 White just kind of bleeding out Shopify Rebellion, bleeding out the clock to begin with, just to see if Shopify are going to make any plays. They can kind of passively kind of receive them and just keep everything under control. But now, looking for some information and trying to see exactly what they can oh, find. No. It didn't tag her. That's, oh. that's kind of a win. And not that's... using the dash. <laughs> yeah. Or he just wants to fight, man. I respect it. I absolutely respect it. And now Steel Line White, they have what they, they wanted. They they have an early five versus four. No 40 seconds left. They're gonna reset into an A hit. So very methodical, very straightforward, but the simple stuff is often the best. I don't think that actually got a boot on Larval. No, it didn't. Left. Doesn't matter. There, it doesn't look like, yeah, it doesn't look like a single frag is going Shopify's way on this on this eco round. We're gonna go into the bonus here, and Cloud9 White is gonna have a lot of specters. I can't wait to see how they use them. They're gonna, they ha they're definitely gonna have a creative way to cut distance with these specters, Dan. It's probably gonna involve A. Yeah, I totally look. agree. They have the mid grouping again. I saw them group at mid again. Oh, interesting. Ooh. I'm looking forward to seeing how that plays. This, this this last round was a good example, too. If you just let a team run a play and you don't really have anything to kind of take the initiative, they just kind of control everything and you just are helpless. And maybe... Well, I'm curious about this. Is Will this be a fast... Oh, looks like they're going to go We're for running the wall back again. Pistol. Running yeah. back pistol. Here we go. Jazzy can't make her way through this time. That's going to stifle this push. And they can only go through the tube up into kitchen. And so now it's actually a way more controlled look coming through from Shopify. They've completely controlled this. Oh, this is a total abort. They've got no position to work with. The spikes lost under the tube. It's damage control now from here on out for... Oh, oh no. Brutal. <laughs> brutal. <laughs> Just nice orbs ready to go too. Sova removed. No ground Ooh. to work with. But Alexis still finds a pick. Yeah, and that gives them a lot of space. That actually pulls Panini to have to hold the flank. So far, so good for Shopify. Lexus trying to get someone to give her something. Oh, Panini. Oh, oh, oh this could be the moment. An opportunity, perhaps. Looking for the trigger discipline there. Seeing if she can get some extra from that. Oh no, Han is in trouble too. Alexis is turning this one around. And just like that, it's up the flowerful. And the one versus two. 30 seconds to go. Only the A site is available. And flowerful knows it. Yeah. 
where would they think she's coming from right now? She got a frag earlier at Snowman, so I actually believe they're thinking she's coming from Screens or Heaven right now. Oh, how how does she get this defuse in? No util. Yeah, the turret is coming up soon, but looking to avoid a tag. This is so difficult. Turret is the best friend right now. Looking to take the fights and. Oh, it was a good opportunity, but again, yes, definitely looking like that. We have, of course, the full, the, the kind of full arsenal from C9 White, so unlikely they'll drop anything here, but wall goes up, allows Cloud9 to get quite close to this site before seeing any contact. And Jazzy finds the pick on Dahan. It's just a slow, but effective scale onto the A site. You can see that Shopify looking for opportunities through these smokes and these walls and it's just too difficult. That's that is the kind of slow scaling we're talking about where you're trying to like see and she's gonna be on that A site duty and this is what has been difficult as you were mentioning. So perhaps Laurie is a difference maker now in that very aggressive position up on the pipes. They can oh not quite the pipes but close enough getting that angle onto belts. Do you know why, Sean, they're using this slow pace at the beginning of rounds? Yeah, look at... I can tell there's a head stack formed right now between Chazzy and who's it? Alexis. They have an insane head stack ready for any aggression at this A site. And Lori just knows better. She knows better than to push into that. The drone does its job. Forces Lori off the angle. Oh, love the delay coming through with the wall. And of course, we get the lockdown from C9 White. But the timings might be a bit off now because of this forward wall. You can see that C9 White not getting the ground necessary they were looking for initially. But of course, eventually able to come forward. Spike not planted yet, of course. There we go. Some utility used to secure the plant. Good fight, though, from Shopify. Able to get Jazzy dealt with and... We have the kind of fallback to play that post plant position. Those lineups and so on will be utilized here by C9 White on the defense of this spike. Look at this plant though, and Han has no wall, Dan. Oh, it's difficult. They have to go so aggressively for these kills. It's hard to win these fights. Great stuff from Alexis holding the line at the back. Laurie can't quite get to a place where this operator is going to be useful, which is very, very hard. Stick is coming through. Oh, Lori able to take down Alexis on the trade, but it's just too much to deal with. And C9 White will take the rounds. Yeah, it's very hard to stop these A assaults. So much util just cutting off these angles. Jazzy on the operator now. Lori, you know, needs to have. I mean, this could be an opportunity. Great tag coming through at 145. Onto Jazzy. Oh. KP down to one. There's a bit of decay going on, but still. Four versus four. This is a good opportunity now for Shopify to maybe do more damage. It's not really a gun that they can collect, which is unfortunate for them. The res comes out of Alexis, putting the numbers back in the favor of Cloud on White. But are they going to be ready for Han in this angle? They were just here. They just cleared this out, Dan. This could be the play. I totally agree. And just hopping up. Oh, Mel just checks everything and has that headshot position. I mean, if there's going to be somebody on the server that crosses every team, dots every eye, it's surely going to be Mel. I'd love it if she took the beanie off of that kill droid so we could see that massive green. That is insane. She just is so aware. Whenever I watch her play, it's just 200 IQ play after 200 IQ play. One enemy remaining. And again, is. It's so cool when you watch C9 White here because the way that they play, you can you can see how how few opportunities the opponents actually have to do anything. There's the Viper's Pit. Do they go into it, or do we finally get to see a B? Oof. I got the spike. Yeah, I guess it depends on the counters available, doesn't it? I mean, what counters would you want to ideally deal with this? Is is that something that they have, or are they going to wrap around the side? Looks like they might try to do that. Go up through mid. And he's spotting Han just on the boiler position. And the mid spot looks to be a bit tricky as well. So back into way again. Dodge the drone. 
And Katsumi's waiting for this wall to collapse in tube. And that is going to open up the lurk big time for Cloud9 White. I think she's going to be a big player this round. On with a better angle though to deal with this. Oh, but not oh. ready though. May have been looking at the minimap, not sure, but whatever it is, it's a frag for Katsumi. And here comes the push into the Viper's pit, and they know exactly how to counter it. Just throw all the bodies at Panini. However, chop a fight. Might not be done just yet. A couple shock darts coming through. This Fury is available for KP. I don't know that it's a good spot to use it from though. Uh oh, Katsumi in the back with the taps. But it's Laurie and KP to get the frags. The spikes now drop. There's 15 seconds left in the round. And suddenly, time is the best friend of Shopify because Cloud9 White have to get the spike down. And you know what? Doesn't matter, actually. You can see 12. You know what? That is. That sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> that really yeah. sucks. There's, there's just no, no light here. Yeah. No light at the end of the tunnel, it seems like. We do have opportunities though. If they're able to find, you know, a pick and they get something, they can. Ha they have ults to, you know, make something of that opportunity. So the good ults with a res, Hunter's Fury, a lockdown. So some big ults that could be utilized if an opportunity presents. Jazzy deals with the turrets and just keeps that pressure on. And stuff like this is to maybe provoke a response because if if you over respond and you give Jazzy a pick. Well, then you've just given C9 White a super easy uh, a way into the bomb site, and then the round could even just be one off of that. So it's that's why like all this stalling that we see from C9 White is really effective. Exactly, and the one thing I am worried about with this stalling, Dan, is the Hunter's Fury in the lockdown. They could potentially lose this round on time if they keep waiting. Uh oh, oh yeah, getting some tags here as well. Might even get a pick off of that one. Yeah, Katsumi goes down, and just like you said. This is the left. other part that could really suck is that you lose time and that is being abused here. 20 seconds to get the plant. Top of five. They play their cards right here. They're going to win this round. Powerful knows an opportunity when she sees one. Just trying to dance around with Panini. 10 seconds now for Annie to try to find a way to win this one. Not going to happen. And just like you said, Sean. Well, look at this too, though. We've got Laurie kind of preemptively sitting up high waiting for the push to come in from B. So they've sort of read this B approach. The operator will be spotted. It's going to destroy the drone, which is going to create extra delay. Laurie's still in position. Gets the frag onto Annie. Huge opening pick. The trade is in from Jazzy, though. Great find for Cloud9. And even an operator to be picked up for Jazzy as well. Marvel has the lockdown. Yeah, she's there, Dan. She's going to use this. Planted. Welcome to my world. Oh, lockdown would be definitely a good counter here. Looking for the right spot to use it. There we go. Powerful will drop it next to the Viper's pit. Big win there for Han on the flank, taking down Alexis. Now the pressure is on for Cloud9. Forced out of the Viper's pit. Oh, forced into a corner, both Jazzy and Katsumi, the last remaining players. Great find from Jazzy. Spike defuse is coming in, and there comes the flank from Han. Great retake from Shopify, showing nerve. And they prevented the 12 on that uh, with that thrifty win just previously, Sean. So you can see how Laurie has moved towards the A site now. I'm expectant of an A finish. And we may get the slow opener from C9 White, the default, that turns into perhaps an A a push of some description. Oh, aggressive ice wall coming in from Han in dangerous territory here. Also spotting multiple players hanging out in this position, which tells them quite a lot about the pacing again of this round for C9 White. Again, it's slow. Where are they going to finish? Hard to say. It's set up in mid though, Dan. Look at Han and KP. They're both holding the same exact spot on that mid wall. If Mel works her way up, but the poison orb blocks KP off. Ooh, trying to escape Mel's close enough for the trade. We'll get slowed and the, the cues, sound cues will be heard. And KP trying to keep some kind of vision, but the wall goes up to suggest a play into the B side. We've had, oh, we've got the pillage. Oh, that's so annoying. That's going to lock out the rotation onto this B site, which Jazzy's been sitting on B long with the spike for a long time, looking for an opportunity to outplay Flowerful. 
Will Flowerful win the key 1v1 left. against Jazzy? That's the question. There's so yeah, much to worry game. about for Flowerful in this position. The bait comes through. Surely Jazzy's going to be able to find a finish onto this one, but KP's in the action. And Flowerful is going to just find a way around Yellow. It's not going to work out. Two versus three comes through for Shopify as they try to make this one work. Laurie's up in the face of Mel, but it falls to Panini now to keep their chances in this round alive. And it's just, oh, it gets the tag from the recon dart. And that's going to be a wrap. And that's the 12th round for C9 White. Oh, what a nightmare for Flowerful. The alarm bot's triggered. It happens to be that someone peeks top sight. Jazzy with excellent repositioning. And C9 White again walk away unscathed in the mid game. Close out the round with the res and find themselves sitting on match point. 12-10. But a healthy buy actually remains for Shopify. So by no means is this match over, Dan. This is We're going to get buy rounds for the rest of the game. Yeah, and, and uh, we actually have Panini, you know, one from an ult. We got Laurie who just picked up the ult orb to get the playstorm ready to go. And there it comes. So just as you said, there's a lot more to work with. But again, C9 White are just slowing things down massively. The pacing. And it's hard for you to be aggressive against this it's hard for you to understand what the round is going to look like that's the entire point is to force errors from your opponent when you slow the pace down like this the cost for you is time Lori is calling oh, this what she is pushing and i don't know how this is going to turn out sean but this is a quite the angle this is so so aggressive from Lori right now the blade storm this close in a lobby <gasps> she's been robbed sean she's been absolutely robbed by that how is that not a kill that's insane laurie is still alive and in position powerful able to take down alexis with the turret oh just holding down the flank or rather the rotation through mid shopify are actually in good stead here spike is going to be planted on this b site but in terms of the numbers we have advantages for shopify but they have that hunter shuri to worry about Indeed, and look at Anidra. She's just chilling there deep in B lobby. So safe, and no one's on the flank. That Hunter's Free is coming out this round, Dan. Absolutely is, and we've got Annie here just throwing the dance. Oh, but the push comes in very quickly. Jazzy with a great defense takes down two players. Blades come out, but it's KP against Annie now. And no more Hunter's Free blast for Annie to finish it off, and KP will put the pressure on, but surely the swing comes in. He'd be able to get the gun out just in the nick of time. Has to win these fights. And Annie's not committing to the peak. It looks so difficult. Annie played it to Attackers perfection. Win. And Cloud9 closed out the first map of this.